Once again, we are at the Living Coast Discovery Center right here in beautiful Chula Vista with our Director of Adventure, Sherry Thank Langston. You. So owls today. Owls, bird bar for, or owl pellets you're gonna dissect with some students. What? Yeah, That's bird bar. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Mm. Um, and then we'll talk about some endangered species that we have here and how people can help them. Yeah, we've got some great success stories. Let's head out and check it out. Thanks. These burrowing owls are native to San Diego. She is full grown. This is as big as they're going to get. Wow. And they're nice and small because they like to live in burrows in the ground. So they need to be small and compact. They actually steal the nest from ground squirrels. Yeah, I was going to ask you what role yeah. do they play in our environment? They do. Well, they love to eat um, insects and small lizards and snakes and rodents. So really big in the pest control um, area there. You can tell these really, really sharp talons. And she's focusing very much so on the camera. So I'm hoping people can see the movement that she's got going on there. And what is it about the neck? It seems like they could turn all the way around. Because their eyes are fixed in socket. They can't look upright, left and down, or roll their eyes at their mother. Um, and so they <laughs> need to have this additional um, cervical vertebra so they have a, a larger range of motion. So this is Tito the barn owl. Oh, look at those eyes. He's about four years old, and he is representative of native barn owls in San Diego. And, and this is a, a night bird, or more nocturnal? Yeah, he's more nocturnal. Um, he is, he can be spotted at dawn and dusk hunting and uh, and that would make him crepuscular is, a, is another word for it, is when they are active at dawn and dusk. So what role do they actually play uh, that, that aids our environment here? They have a really important one. Um, barn owls are fantastic rodent control. Um, so they are very important to have around to hunt rats and mice, squirrels and, uh, and things that are going to be you know, growing their population out of control without a predator like a barn owl. So this is Pico. He's our great horned owl. Um, fun little fact about birds is they don't have sweat glands like we do. Okay. So on warm days like this, we like to spray them off and give them a little help and help cool them down. It's kind of nice. Right? And he is the biggest of, of the uh, owls? Well, that we have here in uh, native to San Diego. He's one of the largest um, predatory uh, birds of prey that we have here, aside from like the golden eagle and the bald eagle. Um, and he has pound for pound the strongest grip of any bird. Yeah, look at those claws. Yeah, he's he's a pretty strong guy over here. So I'm, I'm happy that right now he's pretty comfortable with us, so he's not squeezing too tight. And his eyes are just big as the moon. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny you say that because he's got to hunt at night. So they need to be very big and large to bring in as much light as they possibly can. Um, so that way he is um, able to see different birds of prey. So this is Jack, the one-eyed screech owl? Yeah, this is Jack, the one-eyed western screech owl that we have the Living Coast. And he's got one eye because he sustained an injury in the wild. Um, and he's here with us because he's no longer releasable into the wild. And you guys are all about preservation Absolutely. and saving endangered species. Absolutely. So um, what we do here is we, we have our animal ambassadors like Jack, um, who now, even though they're non-releasable to the wild, can have an amazing impact on their um, counterparts in the wild by helping teach the public about their species. Mm -hmm. And you described him as, as what? what He's say? vicious. He is a vicious little hunter. These guys are small, um, small in stature, but man, they have, um, they're really vicious predators. So I've got uh, Tyler, Abby, and Jackson here. And this thing, what is this, Jackson? This is an owl pellet. And Abby, where did it come from? It came from a, um, a bird. A, a bird, probably an owl. And, and Tyler, what are you guys going to do with this thing? Um, we're going to dissect it and take out all the bones and try to make a rat skull. All right. Well, a rat body. And I heard this described as kind of a, a, an owl hairball. <laughs> it, it is uh, extremely similar to, uh, to a hairball in, in cats in that these owls don't have a very efficient digestive system. So what they'll do is they'll eat these prey items such as rats, voles, mice, and then they'll exude or basically cough up the, the portion that they can't digest, which is typically things like hair and fur, and in this case, bones. Well, Robbie, we've learned a lot about raptors today, owls, uh, meat-eating birds of prey, like the peregrine falcon? That's right. There's some success stories here, right? There are. There's animals such as the peregrine falcon and the bald eagle that were once endangered. And due to conservation efforts such as the Endangered Species Act, for example, these animals are no longer endangered and they're actually doing really well in some places. And we have the bald eagle here. You say that is a native bird to San Diego? We actually have bald eagles nesting again here in San Diego County.